All right, so here's the watch. You can see it's at 100%. I'm gonna pull it off the charger. It's 9.23 in the morning. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna start an activity and start the GPS. This is gonna be mostly in full sun. We'll simulate a hike. Let's just say it's an all day hike. All right, so we'll select hike. Now this is not going to have my heart rate monitored the whole time, but we'll choose it anyway. And we'll say start, we'll leave the timer going. See, it says GPS active. And this is gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be in the sun. So if we look up right now, the sun's right about here. It tracks this way across the sky. So this thing really should be in the sun most of the day. We'll come back and we'll see kind of what the battery percentage is and after how many hours and kind of see what it looks like. Brooks and I are gonna come out here and check on the status of the um, Phoenix that's been sitting outside. You can see it's a little bit overcast. So it hasn't been in the full sun for the last couple hours, but it got full sun most of the day. So we'll check on it. All right, so we're at eight hours, 57 minutes. And uh, we'll switch the screen here and see what our battery life is up to. All right, so check this out. So we're at a huge amount of solar intensity, 27 days still left on the battery. I'm gonna go into this with more details. So over the last six hours, we had a very, very high solar intensity. And then you can see it kind of tra t tailoring off there towards the end of the day. Um, but that's pretty unreal that this thing's been on for close to eight hours and we still have a phenomenal amount of battery left. Um, really, really cool feature to have for this Garmin. All right, so I went ahead and restarted it. So we're back to eight hours and 59 minutes. Again, it's gonna be shaded and it's gonna be at night. So we'll see how the battery does overnight as well. All right, just woke up, six o'clock. Still pretty dark. And uh, we'll look at the watch here and see what it says. So it says 20 hours, 53 minutes. Uh, I think actually a slug crawled across the screen last night. See that little slug trail right there? Gross. Let's see what the solar intensity says for overnight and how much battery we have left. So I'll go ahead and stop this. I'll just pause it. Zoom later. All right. 20, what does that say? 22 days of battery, so still quite a bit of battery left. Solar intensity, zero. Dark. So pretty darn great battery life on this thing. I'm gonna go plug it in inside and just see if it gives me a percentage um, over that last basically day um, of use. All right, so 72%. I just plugged the watch in. You can see that there on the screen. 72% over a full day of use and half of that day in the dark. So I'm gonna run this thing down today and um, we'll see if we can charge it overnight, or excuse me, charge it uh, outside in the sun for the next step. All right, it's about 8.45 a.m. I came back from a weekend away with this thing running the whole time and it was finally at about 10% um, after close to three days of running. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put it in the sunlight and see what we can come up with here. We'll see if it charges automatically um, and comes back on, which would be really cool. Um, but we'll check back here in a few minutes. So here we go, I'm gonna stick this bad boy right in the sun, right in this rock, just like if you were out camping on a trip or something. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we're about three hours into this charging demonstration. I'm gonna go ahead and see if this thing will fire up. Boom, look at that. And then let's see what we've got for battery life. And uh, we'll plug it into the wall and see what it gives us for a percentage. See how long this takes to boot up. See if it gives us a day calculation here. See if it runs right into the um, activity as well, which would be super cool if it just kind of paused the activity. Well, all right, it's saying one day battery life. Let's see if I hit this and I go to hike. It didn't resume and it's saying two hours of charge. So interesting that it didn't resume the activity if you go to full dead. Let's plug it in and see what we've got for percentage. 
All right, so showing 4% after about three hours in full sun. So I'm gonna turn it off, put it back out. Actually, I'm gonna leave it on, put it back outside without an activity, see what we get for a recharge. Okay, so 1217, we're gonna place this thing in as much full sun as we can get. Granted, it is a little bit overcast today, but for the most part, the solar intensity is pretty bright. So we'll see what happens here. We'll check back in a few hours, and then we'll check back just before dark. Now this might slow down the charging a little bit. All right, 6.45, so we're at about 10 hours of sun exposure here for this guy. Still says battery one day. You can see the sun's mostly behind the tree right now. So we'll go in and plug it in and see what it says. All right, so we're still at about 4%. So that's interesting. So a full day out in the sun, but with the watch on, 4% battery life. So is that sustainable? Tough call, especially if you're doing activities. That might not really be enough. And let's scroll down here to the solar uh, intensity map. You can see that this wasn't a super strong day compared to earlier, um, but we did have several peaks in there. But 4%, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to keep the battery alive while you're outside. All right, so is it worth it? <laughs> well, that's for you to decide. Um, I think we saw in the video that the watch isn't going to recharge itself necessarily in the sun, uh, regardless of how bright it is and how long you let it sit there. But what it can do on a multi-day adventure is to keep itself a little more charged than it would if you didn't have the sun. And so it may allow you to travel and to do these multi-day adventures without taking in a battery pack or some other supplemental charging device. Um, you know, it's not going to recharge itself, it's not going to keep itself full, but it might extend your trip out a few extra days, um, which could be great. You know, it, it is an expensive device. Um, the solar feature is cool. Uh, is it worth it? That's for you guys to decide. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out everything else I have on YouTube and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.